Hello YouTube, Ching Eaton here today after Easter in 2019 and I figured I'd put a little video up on my solar powered water pump system. I um, put this in three years ago. Uh, I got uh, two 100 watt solar panels and I built a little frame for it. Um, I did my orientation based on the, uh, the old trick of planting a rod and casting a shadow and the shortest shadow you find then you point the direction towards the rod and that's due south well my daughter was over with her smartphone and she confirmed yesterday just for fun that it was exactly facing south so the shadow system does work and then to uh, to figure out summertime the sun is best at 74 degrees and so I went ahead and made myself a little deal there where I could orient the, the panel correctly at 74 degrees because I don't use it in the winter time anyway so I don't need it to be multi oriented and I've got myself a 12 volt battery here and if you can read that or not it says I get 175 minutes minimum at 25 amps well, the pump that I've used draws 17 amps, so that gives me a couple hours of energy, and I've never actually had it run to where it gave out. So, one thing I did do, instead of mounting these two directly together, I used a piece of corrugated, you know, same thing I made that chicken house out of over there, and I just cut a little section of it like you can see there and made a little rain gutter so that this underneath area here would stay dry uh, in case I want to store something underneath there I haven't really done much with it yet but we've just been running the pump to water a little stuff and the garden and the trees so here's my little controller box uh, I just put a little an old gas can and used that as a, a an, another shelter for it got some excess wiring underneath there they send you a ton of it didn't really need all that but I'm not gonna splice it so you come under here and I've got myself a little switch wired up so when you flip that switch it lights up you know it's on from a distance and then of course the little uh, PVC half inch pipe runs the wires and the wires go down here to the pump at the pond So just this little water pump here, you can tell it's running its little heart out. And I've got a little filter there to catch algae, the little banjo filters. And then it just goes out and it's got a free-floating pre-filter made out of some old, uh, what do you call that, like a chase lounge chair that was ruined. I just use that for pre-filter, get the big stuff out. So it just free floats around in the pond like that, skimming off the top, and works pretty well. I believe this is uh, rated at uh, four gallons a minute, which for this little plot here, that just puts out just enough to cover everything I got. I do have a bigger motor if I need to run uh, seven gallons per minute. Of course, then you're gonna get a little bit shorter time. So, this is my little seedling nursery started up here. I've got pawpaws and, oh, there's some filberts and pecans and black walnuts. And these are my chestnuts here, little small grouping of them. We've got some bamboo started there and some aronia berry. So, Anyway, that's my uh, that's my system. I wouldn't say that it's particularly cost efficient. I probably spent three hundred dollars, and I could get what uh, ten months worth of watering from the uh, you know normal watering system. But uh, this doesn't have chlorine in it. It's pumping it out of my little pond. So in my mind, that's worth maybe a little extra expense. This is the third year the system has been in and that battery has sat out here all winter long 
and it has uh, not malfunctioned or had any problems so uh, you know I designed it myself I built it myself it's, uh, really no input from anybody who knows any better than I do and it works so anyway that's what it is and thank you for watching